Hey guys, what's up? It's Ivory. Welcome back to my channel. So today I am filming a video to show you how to get this look right here and then later on in the night change it to be glam. So I'm going out right now and I will meet my friends at 2 o'clock and then tonight I'm going out at 10.30 and then I will be out for the rest of the night. So this has to last for over 12 hours. If you want to know how to get from this to this, then please keep on watching. The first step is you wanna make sure you have a really solid base because if you don't have a good base or a long lasting foundation, then by the time you have to get ready at night and you have to build on top of it to make it glam, you have like a crappy foundation and you, you, know, you might as well just take it off and redo it so that it's fresh. So you want something that's gonna last throughout the day into the night. So, First, we're going to prime. For primer, I am taking the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. And I'm going to put this all over the face, but specifically in the T-zone. This is a real life situation because I have to get ready really quickly. I'm going out for sushi and I have to leave in about 10 minutes. <laughs> and then I'm going to meet up some friends at 2 o'clock and then I'm going out to the bars around 10.30. So this has to last all day. For foundation, I'm using the Estee Lauder Double Wear in the shade Tawny. This is going to be super quick and easy, okay? You don't want too much on it because I don't like to add a lot of powders and then have to rebuild off of, you know, old powder. So it's going to be very minimalistic, like pretty much no makeup makeup. Okay, next up for concealer, I'm using the Master Conceal by Maybelline in the shade Light Medium. Man, I think I'm out. No! Okay, I barely have any left. Enough for one more look. When I come back from sushi, I'm gonna take a nap because there's no way I can last this long until 10.30 tonight and then go dancing and then come home at like 5 a.m. Okay, with the same foundation brush, I'm just gonna blend this on up. I have no idea why I decided to go, like, why I agreed to dancing, too. I'm sick for the past week, and my nose is still, like, stuffed, and my throat is all phlegmy. But I, like, got sucked into peer pressure. Okay, with a fluffy brush, I'm just gonna swirl this really quickly and just buff this all over. I suggest when you come home and, like, say you're doing this on a work day, and then you come home, and then you need to go out that night, like, that Friday night, don't touch it up as soon as you get home. Wait until you're about to leave because if you're oily like me, it's gonna get ruined the minute you apply it. So just wait to the very last minute so it's as fresh as possible. I'm just gonna add a gloss. It is the CoverGirl gloss in the shade Berrylicious. I know at night I'm probably gonna do some type of neutral look, so um, I'm gonna add bronzer actually to my eyes just to give it some life. So with a fluffy brush, I'm going in with the Benefit Hoola bronzer and I'm just gonna add this to my eyes and this is it. My brows are actually pretty good and I wanna do them tonight. So I'm not gonna do them. This is super minimalistic. I know, I'm sorry if you were expecting more, but um, I'm trying to make it as bare bones as possible. So I'm gonna go in with the L'Oreal Lash Paradise in blackest black. And I'm gonna do one coat because I don't know if tonight I'm gonna add another coat. So I don't want it to be like crunchy. Okay, so this is it guys. I am on my way to go eat with my friends and then I'll be back later tonight to spice this up. Okay, so it is officially nighttime. It is around 9.15, so I have about 45 minutes to get ready. So the last time I did my makeup and I have not touched up was 1.30. So before we even apply onto this, let's evaluate what we're working with. Okay, so my mascara has smeared a little bit on my lower lashes. It's hard to see because you're not up close. I'm not mad at it. I mean, it's been like eight hours, so that's a typical work day. It's normal for me. Uh, we can smoke that out. And then foundation-wise, it's a little dewy, but it's not broken up anywhere. The only problem I see is that I'm a little shiny and I always, for whatever reason, crack uh, my foundation right here. And it's only this smile line, like this one doesn't crease, it's just this one. 
first what you're going to want to do is get eliminate a lot of the shine so i just take tissue you could take blotting sheets but i can't find them so actually they're upstairs but i'm too lazy to go get them so i'm just going to blot the oils using tissue next i'm going to take this beauty blender that's still damp from this afternoon and i'm just going to press and ab further absorb some of these oils right here okay and the last step so after the beauty blender i'm going to take this big brush and then just powder lightly over my face again okay so your base is basically brand new it's you know matte again and i mean it looks a little worn but can you even tell from this distance no and if someone can tell then they're too close so you need to tell them to step off okay i'm gonna go in with the benefit hula bronzer and i'm going to add some dimension to my face and add some warmth in the beginning of the day you easily could have added some bronzer i just didn't feel like it i'm gonna add this to my forehead and my jawline and the sides of my nose Ugh. excuse me so i'm starting to recover from my sickness and lo and behold my husband is sick now <laughs> and he's such a little baby about it like when i was sick i still did things around the house but and i was groggy about everything but he is like oh my god like put the blankets over me and like tuck me in make me a pizza bagel take care of me i swear every man that i have ever been with every single time they're sick they act like this like why okay next with the mint pear m64 brush i'm gonna take this banana shade that you see right here and just brighten my under eye i'm gonna apply this to my forehead basically everywhere that we added concealer next for blush i'm using this blush right here from bh cosmetics and i'm just gonna apply this to my cheeks with the same brush that i put the banana powder i'm just gonna take the cody air spun and then carve out my cheekbones okay while this bakes a little bit i'm just gonna do my brows and then i'm going in with the maybelline total temptations brow definer in the shade medium brown and then i'm just gonna wipe the bake away and i also like to go over the blush with it too just so it doesn't look so like pink and harsh okay so my base is done so i'm gonna zoom you on in for my eyes okay so my eyes still have the benefit hula bronzer on them so i'm just gonna go in with a similar shade for my transition so i'm gonna be taking the bh cosmetics ultimate neutrals palette i use this in like every single video but i just really love this eyeshadow because i love neutrals so i'm gonna take these two colors right here they're like these cool toned browns i'm just gonna put it everywhere that the oh why is this come out dark okay we're going for an ultra smoky look tonight i guess i think there was another shadow on this okay with a clean brush i'm just gonna diffuse the outer edges okay next i'm gonna go in with this like tomato orangey color right here and then mix it with this lighter orange but it's like kind of brown based and then add this to my outer V okay with the M64 I'm just gonna take some more uh, loose setting powder and then just kind of angle this so that I have more of a cat eye effect okay next with a flat fluffy brush I'm gonna take a matte white from the palette and then just apply this to the inner half of my eyelid and we're going to use this as a base to go in with a shimmer i feel like i do the same look every time but you guys this is what i feel like is so flattering on me and i don't want to try new looks like first time on camera because what if it turns out bad like i should try them first and then show you what i can do i just never have time I'm a very busy person. Okay, I'm gonna take this um, bronzy brown right here. It looks like this. 
we're just gonna apply it to the lid so this is what it looks like with the shimmer on the lid and then this is just the matte white okay lastly i wanted to take this super dark chocolatey purpley color on a flat dome brush and then just pop it only in the outer corner like i'm just gonna really stamp this in and I'm not gonna take it very far i'm just gonna kind of stick that right into the socket where my eyeball like crease starts and then with my transition shade brush i'm just gonna blend those two together okay on a pencil brush i'm just gonna take that like orangey color and then smoke out my lower lash line with it and this is where you can get off the mascara that's smeared on your lower lashes it's like it never happened okay and then with a clean brush the one that i've been using to blend i'm just gonna smoke out that line okay with another pencil brush i'm just gonna take this this shimmer white at the very end and then pop this on my brow bone in my inner corner lastly to top off my lid i'm using the sahi cosmetics eyeshadow foils um, in the shade dubai this one has like really spread out glitters so do you see like how shimmery that made it and then this looks really great too but i just think this looks so much fun next i will be adding a wing so i'm going to be using the maybelline eye studio gel liner in the shade blackest black okay and then after i add the liner i'm going to set the gel liner with the Maybelline single shadow. This is just like a black shadow and it's matte. For lashes, I'm using the Ardell Demi Natural Lashes. So this is with one lash on and then this is no lash. You can see it more when I look down. Okay, next with the Maybelline Brow Precise Fiber Volumizer in the shade Deep Brown, I'm just gonna set my brows this has a tint to it so it'll also kind of darken them okay with the rimmel exaggerate waterproof eye definer i'm gonna add this to my waterline this is in the shade nude okay next i'm going to add the maybelline vivid hot lacquer lip gloss in the shade so hot i love a bright lip i feel like it just makes the whole look go like ah <laughs> So since this is a lip gloss, when you eat and you drink, um, this is gonna wear off. So I would recommend like bringing this with you. Okay, so we're pretty much done with the look. So I am going to use the MAC Fix Plus. And then afterwards, because the MAC Fix Plus does leave a little bit of a sticky residue, I'm gonna take the Slay All Day and then spray that on top. So this is the final look guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please like it and subscribe if you haven't already. I post new videos every Wednesday and then post occasional bonus videos throughout the week. And by occasional, I mean like so far every week I've posted an additional one or two videos. So just saying. <laughs> Alright, this is perfect timing. It's actually 10 o'clock and I actually need to get going. So I hope you have a great day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!